Good morning folks, starting off in Australia, we had a landslide in the state of Victoria and some flooding in South Wales. I would be astonished if both of these events do not relate to the huge amount of rainfall they've been seeing. Coming over to the United States, we had an avalanche in California, this one is at Ward Canyon. We also had a fairly large earthquake south of South America, very close to Antarctica. Put this article below folks if you're interested at all in post-glacial rebound effect, increasing water levels, or perhaps a methane release from under the poles. This is a very good article from NASA's Earth Observatory. Top article of the day, an increase in lightning strikes could signify that a tornado is not a far behind. Now that electrostatic, electromagnetic force kind of makes me wonder if I'm going to have to start watching a certain YouTuber's videos again. Coming over and taking a look at the sun, folks, a lot of you know we had that coronal feature rip right through the Earth footprint, and it kind of teamed up with this solar wind speed here that has been well above ambient levels for days. You can see here the KP index has showed the uh, unstable levels of our magnetosphere. Right when that coronal feature ripped through, you could see we started to have a very strong disturbance on both the induction and the flux gate magnetometer. At that exact same time, the red began to spike, which signifying that the ionosphere needs to work overtime to absorb the radiation. And a little later in the evening, uh, some ground currents and a strong magnetometer declination was registered in Norway. Taking a look at the sun right now, when we have a look at ISWA, we can see that the Earth footprint has jumped all the way over to the other side of the sun on the northeastern limb. There might be one filament over there, but certainly no active regions, and the chances of a particle flux are low. Now, we are expected to get hit this weekend with a coronal hole stream from that dark coronal hole turning to the right. Now, at the same time we're supposed to get hit with that, Mars is going to be moving into an alignment with Earth and the sun. This is called Mars opposition. It is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun. Now, at that exact at the same time, Venus and Saturn are going to be opposing each other as well. And if you know, uh, if you've been paying attention, you know that I like to correlate these planetary alignments with geomagnetic activity, which is expected for this weekend. As you can see, we do have a bunch of magnetic filaments uh, arriving all over the sun. If you live in the USA, in the Midwest, watch out for tornadoes tonight. That's the news, folks. Be safe.